Hi there and welcome to my What's in Rosalie suitcase video. This um, video is about all the, I've already filmed her clothes video, this is all the other stuff that will be taken on holiday. So not, not clothes, <laughs> part of her suitcase. So first of all we are taking this little cool bag, it comes with a, this was two ninety nine dollars from B&M and it comes with its own little um, freezer thing. So I'm going to take some, probably going to take some of our meals that we I make for Rosalie and freeze them. It's only a two hour flight so I don't think it'll defrost if I put this in a case. It should stay pretty frozen till we get there. I'm taking, because Rosalie is um, weaning, she pretty much eats whatever we eat. But So I'm taking a plate, a bowl and a selection of spoons for her while we're there. I'm taking some snacks. So I've got the nuts and crosses, the cheesy cook, and the carrot sticks. So they'll just go in the case for when we get there if she is hungry. I'm taking some in our hand luggage for if she gets hungry on the flight. I'm taking one pack of swim nappies. These are just the medium ones, Mamiya um, swim pants. Rosie's actually in size 5 nappies and these are size 4. These are 15 to 34 pound and Rosie weighs 20, nearly 22 pound now. Um, but I thought you don't want them to be really bulky underneath her swim so I got the smaller ones. I'm taking a pack of nappies. Uh, these are size 5 and um, yeah, just a standard pack of nappies. So these will go in her case. I'm taking four packs of white. I'm taking four bibs. These are the open pack. They're plain bibs with sleeves so that when we go out for dinner in the evening and she wears her pretty dresses, she'll still look cute. She won't get a food all down them. I have a sunshade for the car. We were getting a higher car when we get there, so this is just to stick on the window so she doesn't get blinded by the sunlight. I might put that in the hang luggage actually because we'll need to get to that. I have an umbrella for the stroller. I have an extra large um, sleep shade muslin. So this is a muslin but it's a huge one. Probably like four to six times bigger than um, a normal muslin and this is to throw over the pram so that it, um, the stroller so it makes it nice and dark if Rosie is trying to get to sleep. I also bought um, an Outlook Shader Bay, which is also a stroller um, sunshade, so uh, that'll keep, this is, obviously I'm a bit worried about Rosalie getting burnt, so this will make sure that when she's in there, she's covered and no sunlight can get to her. It's 50 plus UPF, and it's made by an Australian brand, so um, it should be quite good. It's three wheel wheelers and four wheelers. I am taking a little swim seat. This is the Speedo Sea Squad uh, baby swim seat. Sortable, suitable from 0 to 12 months. I'm also taking a little shade pool. This was 6 dollars from B&M. Um, so it's just a little paddling pool that we can, we do have a toddler pool in the house we're staying at and a big pool. Um, so this will just be like when we're sat on the side so Rosalie can sit and splash about in here. On the snack front, um, I've never given Rosalie any kind of patches at all. She was our homemade food, but I saw these in Aldi and I thought I'd give them a try. It says they are 100% apple, no other ingredients. Um, so we'll see if she likes those. This was just a pack of five. So I've got, I'm gonna put one or two in her hand luggage um, and the rest will go in the case. So this is Rosalie's hand luggage. Her Auntie Lucy, bought her um, a little chunky. So I'll show you what I've packed in here. So I have an empty beaker. Obviously we're not gonna be able to take water through um, security, but once we get through, we can buy a bottle of water and fill this up. So this is for Rosalie to have on the flight. I've got two of those um, apple pouches. 
two packs of crisps. I've got Rosalie's sling in case she gets too heavy and we don't want to hold her anymore. We can put this on her. Um, this is mostly filled with Rosie's toys, so I've got a couple of, they're actually bath books, but I thought they'd be good because she can play with these in the pool. She's got her little toy, a ball, some keys, her little rara. These again are bath toys, but they're for playing in the pool. Some little tortoises, stacking tortoises. And another tortoise bath toy. And also in the chunky, I'm going to take this bag. Now this is just full of toys and snacks. And this is what, so we'll probably put the chunky in the overhead locker on the flight. But this is what we'll keep with us in our seat. So I've got little biscuits in the front pouch. Have a rattle. Some stacking cups. These linky things. Another pack of crisps. Oh, yeah, a bit squashed already. A little mirror toy. Two boots. And a little teething toy. I've got a book. Two more Peter Rabbit board books. And a packet of window stickers to stick on the window and to play with during the flight. This was a tip from Mrs. Meldrum, so we'll see how she gets on with those. So that's what I'm taking for Rosalie in her flight bag and um, her hand luggage and the other stuff. The rest of the non-clothing bits in her case. Um, I hope this video was useful and if you want to stick around I will be filming what I'll be packing and also what's in our toiletries and um, cosmetic bags so check out those videos when they go live so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>